What's up guys, Grim here. The servers just went down because of probably a lot of problems with 3.5. It's kind of anticipated for things to go wrong. Uh, there is always issues that come up. So I figured I'd make a quick video and kind of talk about a couple things and also show you guys the promotion that's going on. Uh, one of the big websites that Rift has worked with in the past is a website or company named Ricksty. And it was a way to purchase uh, credits in the game or else Rex or something like that. So whenever I seen uh, this promotion that this website was doing, I was thinking, well, it is a trusted site for uh, the Rift community because Rift has worked with these guys before. So I went ahead and let me show you guys went to their website and I seen somebody talking about it in like cross events. So I went and checked it out and sure enough, right at the top here, it has a wilds gift package, uh, for free. So if you sign up with their site, as in just make an account, you know, the normal stuff, username, password, uh, verified on your email, stuff like that, you will get this for free whenever you click the get now button. Um, the things that are offered in this wild gifts, uh, is lots of mounts. Uh, you get a chance of one of six planar squirrel mounts, which is a cloud tail, shadow tail, gem tail, flame tail, uh, bramble tail, and river tail squirrels. And then you also have a chance at, uh, overcompensating a crystallized insight, which will grant you 1 million planar attunement experience. Uh, other things that you could get is Nightmare Weapon Skins, which is like the Blood Fiend, the Howling Eye, the Dread Cleaver, and the Constellation of Sorrow. So these are a lot of things that you can get, and it's completely free. So let's go ahead and show you guys what exactly I'm going to get in the box in just a moment. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. An Ascended Trove? What is that? Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and claim it. Uh, but this is the uh, item that we're looking for, the Into the Wilds gift. And this is what is possibly going to drop one of the six mounts or else a weapon skin or something like that. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. Uh, wait a minute. I need to... Uh, Go over in a general tab here, okay, so I can see what I get. And let's open it. Oh, got a bramble tail squirrel. Very nice. And the dread cleaver. Did it give me all the weapon skins? Yep. You get all four weapon skins. Looks pretty cool, man. Looks pretty cool. Alright, so that is what one of the weapon skins looks like. Let's go ahead and collect the Bramble Tail so that we can see exactly what this mount is going to look like. I have never seen the Bramble Tail, so if you guys have seen it, then uh, sorry you're seeing something that you've already seen before. But this is brand new to me. Ah, I got cool uh, like polka dots on it, like uh, spots, should I say? Very cool mount, man. Yes. I guess you get uh, a guaranteed mount. But let's go ahead and uh, open up the Ascended Trove now. Let's see what we get in here. Okay, got a level 10 two-handed sword. Oh, it, it's giving me another one. I What? It allows me to open it up again? Level one rune. Okay, let's open it again. Okay, it's there again. We can open it up again. And we got a mount, a platinum uh, steed bridle. Let's see what this thing looks like. Now, mind you, this isn't the Into the Wilds uh, gift that we got. This is uh, something separate. Not too sure right offhand uh, what exactly this is for. Why did I get this? I know I've logged on to Trove just today, but I don't know. 
All right, got oh, got a transcendent favor vial. Very nice. And a skill sphere. All right, let's try it again. All right. Spring loaded kickers. Oh, relic sword. But it's level 40. Why is it giving me low level gear? I have no idea what this box is. Oh, transcendent favor vial. Uh, oh, another mount. A war steed. All right, so let's check this one out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like getting free mounts. And we got another box to open. What? It's not even showing multiple boxes, but it's allowing me to open it over and over. Okay. I got a crafting seal boost. Okay. Oh, that's the last one. It's not going to allow me to open anymore. A notoriety vial. All right. One of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is that be careful in war fronts right now. It is extremely dangerous. As in, the, the playing field is supposed to be more level than it was in the past. Once you get warmonger gear if you're a PvPer. The thing is, is that PvEers have been raiding and stuff and they've been getting this big raid gear, you know, the, the stuff that's way better than our PvP gear, but it really wasn't too much of a worry because it got down bolstered and kind of put in line. Uh, it was still slightly better than the uh, PvP gear that you could get for the most part. And, um, well, the, the new gear that came out has changed things. It has raised the ceiling on the down bolstering, but has increased the up bolstering as well. So if you come in with like just green gear, the minimum that it will have you as in bolstered up, it will be higher than it was just right before 3.5. The thing is the ceiling has been raised as well. So these people that have been raiding are in much better gear than you are if you're a pvp or you know pure P uh, pure pvp or should i say because if you're running around in frenetic gear and trying to work up your warmonger gear the ceiling got raised so these people that have the huge uh, t2 like relic out armor and all that they just they're at the cap already you know, before you ever got a chance at Warmonger gear, they're already at the cap. And these guys are PvPing right now. I am getting smashed by these PvEers that have come in. And they are just in amazing gear. And I'm running around trying to, you know, I kind of said that I was going to work really hard on getting my Warmonger gear on all of my characters. And I've basically been going in with green and blue gear and I'm just pounding away at these war fronts thinking, man, I got to get the gear. That way I can upgrade it and make it into warmonger gear. And then it will be level with the down bolstering because down bolstering will is supposed to be level with the best PVP gear, which would be warmonger gear. So yeah, right now I'm running around with just the bolstered up gear and man, these people are one-shotting me almost. It, it's insane, man. Uh, I've been getting some kills. I've been getting some kills because I've been playing uh, some of the really powerful specs. I've been running around with Pyromancer, uh, Inquisitor, uh, things like that. You know, I, I can't take a hit because these guys are blowing me up. And my weapons are terrible, so I'm not really killing them very well. But I am getting some kills because the specs are just strong. So if I if I get on a marksman, an inquisitor, a pyromancer, uh, yeah, it, you know, even with terrible gear, you're going to get kills. It's just the way it is. And as long as you play all right, you know, some people will just be fodder in PvP, but you know, that's just the way it goes, I guess, too. But um. But I just wanted to give a big warning because these people that raid and you know they're good players because they they know how to control their character. They probably micromanage every single little ability and all that stuff. They know how to do it on the fly because they they raid all the time. They've got to be very good at their character. Well, they're coming into PvP and they are way above your gear level 
And even if you're just as good or better of a player, they are going to smash you because uh, their gear is so much better than yours. Uh, gear is very important. Um, but if you're up in frenetic gear, you know, you're not going to get smashed. Um, but they will have an, uh, a clear advantage on you. you. You'll be able to compete. You'll, you'll be able to get your warmonger pieces and all that good stuff. So, yeah, just work on it. Keep going, guys. And don't get discouraged if you get smashed like I have been. I've been uh, basically just going out and, you know, trying to use movement and good PvP. That I believe I'm a good PvPer, so I'm trying to use my superior movement and gameplay. And then I get stunned and blown up. It's, it's, it's that fast, man. And especially with uh, all the cleric specs and... Uh, all the mage specs being buffed up except for shaman. I don't think shaman got buffed up. So uh, These guys are kind of just really running over us. Uh, I'm already seeing a lot more pyromancers and a lot more inquisitors There was a good while that you would see less inquisitors just recently. I don't know why but uh, that, Yeah, there was just less inquisitors Whenever I played Inquisitor last, I was just basically spamming a burst button and I was bursting everybody down even with bolstered gear. It was that's why I titled the video No Skill Just Kill because I was just hitting burst buttons and blowing everybody up. And even if it wasn't like uh DPS like on par with a Vulcanist ethereal beam or something, man, if you don't blow them up with one burst Use your next one, then use your next one, and then reset it, and use it again, use it again. I mean, these guys are going to go down unless they're running for their lives and getting really good heals. Alright, so, yeah. Enjoy the PvP, grind out up to Warmonger gear if you're a PvPer, but watch out for those PvEers, they are vicious right now. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.